The final update to Iceborne is here, and with it comes one of the toughest challenges in the game. Fatalis the Black Dragon will test even the best of hunters. So I'm Darkblade with an anti-Fatalis build for the Hunting Horn in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now as always, an anti-build, sometimes referred to as a counter build, is a build that is made to take on a specific monster in the game. And whilst in all honesty Fatalis can be taken on with any set, the builds featured in this little series are aimed to make the hunt more manageable. When it comes to the Hunting Horn, it's quite an effective weapon at taking down Fatalis. However, it struggles a little bit when it comes to breaking the monster's head, so you have to take every opportunity to attack the head when it presents itself. You can also approach this hunt going with the raw attack approach, using the Hunting Horn slow but heavy hitting attacks, or the elemental approach by using builds that have high elemental ratings combined with the echo wave attacks that the Hunting Horn has. For me, I went with the elemental route as I tend to prefer elemental builds and I also like playing with the Hunting Horn utilising the Echo attacks. So for the Anti-Fatalis Hunting Horn build you'll need the full Safi Jiva armor set, so that includes the Safi Crested Crown Beta, Crested Chest Beta, Crested Van Braces Beta, Crested Belt Beta and Crested Boots Beta. I'm also using a Wormsbane Charm 5 and for my weapon I'm using a Latrion Revival. This has a Health Regen augmentation and Elemental Up augmentation. As for the specialist tools, as always I've gone for temporal and rock sturdy mantles for defensive purposes. So when it comes to the jewels you've got a fair amount to play around with. So first of all I've gone for a fortitude jewel for the fortify skill, then gone for evasion jewels to max out evade window, tenderizer jewels for weakness exploit, protection jewels to max out divine blessing, vitality jewels for health boost, destroyer jewels for the part breaker skill, sonorous jewels for the horn maestro skill, a dragon jewel to max out the dragon attack skill and expert jewels for some critical eye. As for the jewels on the specialist tools, I've simply gone for heavy artillery jewels for the heavy artillery skill. So if you've done what I've done here, you'll have a build with 150 health, 100 stamina, which will be 200 health and 150 stamina. When you're on a hunt and taking all your relevant consumables, you'll have a raw attack of 1239 with a decent chunk of purple sharpness. You have 50% base affinity, which can easily be 100% when you take into account weakness exploit as well. You also have a dragon rating of 1270. The dragon rating and base affinity stats shown here are with the true dragon vein awakening buff being active. You have low elder seal and when it comes to the songs on the hunting horn they're not all useful but there are definitely some handy ones here. The main useful ones being elemental attack boost, blight resistance boost, blight negated and echo wave dragons. To be honest when taking on Fatalis just focus on one or two of these songs as playing too many can leave you vulnerable and open to attack. You also have a decent defense of 1061 that is strong against every element except for dragon. So when it comes to the skills, first of all you have dragon attack at level 6. This is a skill that increases the dragon rating and damage of a build. The dragon element is the best element to use against Fatalis, it's 3 star weak to the element. So if you wanted to use elemental builds, always take dragon attack. Of course if you were using a raw attack hunting horn, you can replace dragon attack with maybe attack boost or agitator. The choice is always up to you. Anyway, you have evade window level 5, which increases our invulnerability frames when we perform evades and dodges and such, so it helps add to our survivability. You have health boost level 3, allowing our health to get to a maximum of 200. You have critical boost level 3, which is a skill that increases the damage of our attacks when they crit a monster. However, this only applies to the raw portion of an attack. It does nothing for the elemental portion, unfortunately. You also have weakness exploit level 3, which is a skill that grants us bonus affinity whenever we're attacking monster weak points. And should these weak points be tenderized through clutch claw attacks first, this increase to our affinity is even greater. Weakness exploit at level 3 can potentially provide us an extra 50% affinity. You have part break level 3, which is kind of essential for the hunting horn. As I said at the start of the video, the weapon seems to struggle a little bit when it comes to breaking Fatalis' horns. So you have to take every opportunity to break them when you can. So part break will allow us to break the horns more easily. If we don't break the horns at least once by phase 3, Fatalis will gain blue flames and this will severely reduce our survivability. Anyway, you have Divine Blessing level 3, which is a useful defensive skill, which gives us a chance at taking reduced damage when we take a hit from a monster. However, this is a guaranteed chance at taking reduced damage, so it can be risky. Anyway, you have Blight Resistance level 2, a byproduct of the gear, but it's still useful. Basically, it reduces the time that elemental blights remain active on our hunter, but as the hunting horn we're using has a blight negated song, it means that we didn't have to worry about maxing this out. You have critical eye level 2, which increases the base affinity of this build. You have horn maestro level 2, which allows the melodies and songs to remain active for longer periods. And you have fortify level 1. 
which is a useful skill for difficult hunts in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Every time you faint and cut and come back, you'll come back with increased raw attack and defense. This buff can be applied twice to a hunter. And then finally when you're wearing your mantles you'll have Heavy Artillery level 2. This is a skill that increases the damage of the Heavy Artillery, so cannons, blisters and that found in Shrake Castle by 100%. So always make sure you have a mantle ready before using them. Finally for the set bonus you'll have one of them, which is the Safi Jiva Seal, True Dragon Vein Awakening. This is a buff that kicks in whenever you have your weapon drawn. When your weapon is drawn you'll gain increased base affinity as well as elemental rating. However, there is a downside to this, because with each swing of the weapon, it will drain a portion of your health. This can leave you at risk, especially if you take hit when you have a large portion of red health on your health bar. This health drain can be negated slightly with the health regen augmentation, but on top of that, should you continuously attack a monster for a short amount of time, the true Dragon Vein Awakening will actually initiate a heal, healing you for the health it drained. So there we have it, that is the build I recommend for taking on Fatalis with the Hunting Horn. Like I said, I have gone for the elemental route instead of the raw attack route, but this is because I like to spam echo mark attacks instead of the standard hunting horn attacks. But if you don't like that playstyle, I'd recommend going for a raw attack build instead of this elemental one. But every build out there has pros and cons. The biggest pro for this build is its decent damage output, both in terms of raw damage and elemental damage. Obviously it leans more towards elemental damage than raw attack, but nonetheless it is still able to bring down Fatalis quite effectively. On top of that, it has a decent song selection, maybe not the best, but the songs it has can definitely help in the Fatalis fight. From its elemental damage increased melodies, to self-improvements, to blight negated. These can all add to a hunt's quality of life. And finally for the pros is the true Dragon Vein Awakening buffs you receive for simply having your weapon drawn. But unfortunately there are cons. The biggest con to this build is the true Dragon Vein Awakening health drain, which can leave you at risk, but this con is kind of negated with the buffs you receive from the same set bonus, as well as player's experience. On top of that, the last con, which is more of a con for the hunting horn, is unfortunately when it comes to playing melodies and songs, Fatalis gives you very little time to play a long selection of songs. Every time you commit to playing a melody, you'll leave yourself at risk, which I see as a con. But regardless, this build is effective at taking on Fatalis and shows that the hunting horn isn't just a support weapon. Obviously the songs will help aid your team by buffing them and that, but the Hunting Horn can also do the hunt quite effectively on its own, bringing down Fatalis with the damage it can deal. So there we have it, that is the anti-Fatalis build I'd recommend for the Hunting Horn in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now of course as you farm the monster more and more you'll get Fatalis gear and weaponry, which is some of the best in the game, and should allow you to do the hunt more easily, but until then this build will work just fine. So until next time, I've been Dablay, bringing you an anti-Fatalis build for the Hunting Horn in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.